Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do we have here but the latest from Rick Hinderer Knives, the Half Track Triway. Gen 2 of the Half Tracks. Now, with the Triway Pivot and the Spanto Blade Shape. Now, this is only available now at USA Made Blade. And shout out to Scott at USA Made Blade. Here it is. Cool patch he throws in, Sasquatch approved, and the big old honking sticker. Very cool. Very, very cool knife. And I've been waiting for the half track to come out in Triway. Triway is where it's at. Love my 3.5 XM18, the skinny. Um, this guy here, which is like my favorite, new favorite EDC knife, does not have the Triway, but it is a non flipper 3 inch, which are pretty rare. I'd love to see Rick make more of these with the Triway pivot. Wow. But. On this, you don't necessarily need the bearings, and you can just run on washers anyway. But I digress. The half track. Loved this blade when I first had it with the Gen 1 with the Teflon washers, but it did not flip great. Guys, snappy. Snappy little flipper. So snappy. It reminds me of, and I should have brought that out for the video, my ZT 0900. Very similar size knife, very similar snappy action. So you got the triway pivot, which comes with the washers. I'm not going to go into much into the triway. I've talked about that quite a bit in my other videos. This is more about the half track on triway with that Spanto blade shape. Again, USA made blade exclusive. The only triway um, half tracks out right now. I chose the translucent G10. Thought that was pretty cool on this frame. And this is a, just a plain um, stone wash titanium frame. No raised, no milling or anything like that. So many variations were available this guy. Quite a few of them sold. I think Scott still has some on his website, though. Um, again, new, the Gen 2s also have the lock bar insert. I can't remember if the first Gen half track did. I don't think so, but it could have. Um, half track is one of those like small EDC knives, but it's very beefy. So it feels very solid in your hand. I mean, it feels like you know, like you can do whatever you want to with this thing, and it's gonna it's not it doesn't feel fragile in any way. Love, love, love the half track. So let's compare it side by side to the three inch hinder. Very, very similar. It's a little bit smaller in the handle. The small sub, which is the gold standard of EDC nice. And it's very, very similar in size. The Kaiser Feist front flipper is going to be very close as well. So these are small knives, no doubt about it. But it doesn't feel small in the hand. And the new min pin. The video on this one may be up before this one. This one's a little bit longer. So, that lock stick though. All right, let's talk more about the half track. So they really only, I would, you know what? I did a review on the half track and I never uploaded it. I realized I saw it my PC or my Mac, I mean, and I thought I never even uploaded that video and I did it like a year ago. So this was one of my favorite EDC knives for a while. Like I said, it's it's a tank. It's a little tank. It's a little overbuilt folder. It's going to be, I bet it's heavier than, curious here. Four point two ounces, which is pretty pretty hefty for that little guy. Three inch hinder is only three point three, so almost an ounce, almost a full ounce. That this is lighter than. It's little brother, technically, but it's because you've got just really thick titanium. You've got thicker blade stock, a lot going on. What is the small sub? 2.8 ounces. Whew, look at that. I'm, I'm so good. And let's try that with 3.0 even. Feist is under 3. 2.6. Very lightweight knife. So this is a little bit of a heavier knife for its size, um, which may turn some people off. I It's never turned me off because I think the half track's just an awesome design. Love it. And I'm just, like I said, I've been waiting for this to come out in a triway pivot. And here it is. And it's super snappy. Great flipper. Um, so it is a smaller knife, but I get, it's got a very similar handle design to this min pin. Look at that. So it's a smaller knife, but it has this shelf right here so the angles right here does the same thing on the half track a little bit. And that allows your forefinger to um, rest really nicely right there. So you get those three fingers on the meat of the handle here. 
your fourth rest right there doesn't feel uncomfortable doesn't feel like it's hanging off the knife you don't feel like you have less of a grip it's just oh it's freaking awesome hinderer is the absolute best at making ergonomic knives guys i mean have you ever handled a hinderer that's not like holy cow that feels so good in my hand and then you handle some other knives and you're like what were they thinking there's a hot spot here there's a hot spot there you know so the design he's always been so good he made a small tanky knife in the half track with a very nice uh, ergonomic handle i love the spanto blade shape on this it's the first time it's been offered on the half track very cool and you've got that kind of reverse spanto on us right here with it how it tapers down right there so nice translucent g10 um typical hinderer hardware on this guy and lock bar stabilizer like i said uh, <clears throat> Thickness wise, let's compare this to the Hinder 3 inch. And you can see off the bat that the half track is quite a bit thicker in the handle. Even though it's technically a little bit smaller knife, that's where that weight comes from. That's that whole 9 ounce difference. Or, I think it was 9 ounces. Um, close to anyway, difference. But the 3 inch Hinder has a bigger handle. So, interesting. But as a little tank of a flipper, man, it just feels great in the hand, feels sturdy, stout. You also have a big difference in blade stock. That's another big difference. So three inch hinderer. Do we have any battery life left on these things? Blade stock is 0.136. The half track is point one six so quite a bit of thickness difference there as you can I mean, it's very visible to see so your thickness in the handle as well as the blade stock behind the edge how are we doing you guys can't see that probably because this is running really low um but it's not thick behind the edge it's point zero two six five and I wonder if up on the Spanto, that's a little bit thicker up here. Holy cap, 0 0.037. Quite a bit thicker at this tip there. That's to help reinforce that. Let's just do another part of the knife. 0 0.027. 0 0.0270, so 0 0.0276 is the, so it's pretty thin behind the edge, guys, for being a stout knife with a pretty thick blade stock, and it's definitely thicker up here at this tip, but that's to, you know, give you a much stronger tip, and you have a nice swedge up here, so that tip is very, very strong on this guy, so not too terribly thick behind the edge, though, which is great, so even though it's a little thick, tanky knife, it should still cut very well and slice very well. So very, very stoked. I think the Hinder tri triways are just an awesome innovation by Hinder this year. Let's you, I mean, if you don't want to run on bearings, you don't have to, but I don't know why you wouldn't because it's made the action on all my XMs and all my Hinders so much better. Um, like I said, if it wasn't a flipper like this guy, if this guy runs fine on just the Teflon washers, I may actually swap the um, bronze washers from the half track to this. Um, this should fit, but this is actually pretty stinking smooth for being on Teflon, right? But it's on the flipper. That was the issue is a lot of Rick's knives are flippers and he had them on Teflon and they'd flip not very good. This takes little to no effort at all. The detent is pretty stout on this guy, not too bad. Just flips super nicely and it's got a nice smooth action. Um, that's out of the box. I haven't done anything, I haven't done any lube or anything like that. So totally dig the half track. One of those cool little EDC tanks um, that will just take whatever you throw at it and what are we looking at blade-wise on this guy? Shy of three inches if I don't remember. Oh, my calipers might have just gave up the ghost. Let's see. Sometimes if you swap the battery out a little bit, you might be able to even give it a little bit more life. Nope, <laughs> that battery's pretty much dead. So I think it's right around three inches. Let's see, let's compare it to the smaller, or the larger, technically. Got more of a choil, pronounced choil on this side, definitely. So this is a sub three inch blade on the half track.
gonna find out the exact since my there goes my furnace since my uh, good old calipers just died on me. I don't see a ruler handy. Let's so make sure for sure. Sure for sure. On the blade length, yeah, 2.75. That's what I thought. 2.75. So under three inches, legal in a lot of areas. But I'm telling you, you're not gonna need more blade than this. This is gonna do any job you throw at it. So tanky and overbuilt and but not you know like i said not too thick behind the edge so it'll still cut still do well um i still think i love the three inch hinder the most without the flipper um the, the flipper model of this catches my finger in a weird way right where this tab come would cut would have come down it just catches my f index finger and just causes a hot spot doesn't do that on the half track at all because the flipper tab is i think designed a lot better on half tracks than it is on the three inch uh, XM18. So I prefer the X, the half track to the three inch flipper XM18. But a non flipper, which are pretty rare, um, I, I prefer that. So, but first impressions are great on the new half track, Spanto, triway pivot, flips like a dream, super nice action, super well built, steel lock bar insert. Um, same price as all the other hinders, 425 is what you're going to be paying for this, same as this XM18. A lot of people wonder why he charges the same for all of his knives. Um, you think a smaller knife would cost less to produce and less materials and would be less expensive, right? Well, think about it this way. He just brought this innovative new pivot system to the market, includes three different types of washers and how to run them, and doesn't charge you any more money for it. So I think that kind of washes that out a little bit. All right, guys, thanks for watching my um, video on the Hinder Triway half track. See you on the next video.